All right, welcome to the April Shade Tree Commission meeting for Town of Wethersfield, Connecticut. Uh, today is Monday, April 12th, 2021. It is 7.30. And this meeting is being recorded electronically in accordance with the, gov the governor's executive order 7B. I hereby call this meeting to order. Hi, my name is Corey Christians. I'm the tree warden, and I see some fellow commissioners with us, Mary Pelletier, Shade Tree, uh, Commission Liaison, um, Alex Graver, and Bruce Graver. Thanks for being here. Is there any public comment? Seeing no public comment, um, I didn't include this in the agenda, but I did attach the the um, spring planting goal. And I thought maybe we could sneak that into public comment, um, seeing as I'm not looking for a, a vote, yay or nay on it. It's still just open to some discussion though. I forgot. Really in my mind, it's always open to, um, you know, and open to some change um, <coughs> right up until the trees actually go on the ground. You know, if someone wants this one or that one off the trailer or the call before you dig lends itself to a situation where we can't plant in that spot because of utility, then we make game time decisions or species selection decisions um, very last minute based on sort of nursery availability or what stock looks good at the nursery and stuff like that. But is there any, do you have that printed out or can you see that? I forgot to print it out. I'm going to bring it up. <laughs> well, in summary, um, we're going to do a lot of planting on State Street. And also where we approved removals on Lincoln Road uh, last month, I hope to replace all of those one for one. Maybe, you know, not, probably not in exactly the same location, but um, offset of where the stump removal was just because the digging would be difficult, likely. Um, there's 434 Main Street. There is uh, Mark Albert requested a tree at the intersection of Wolcott Hill and High Crest, the southeast corner. And then most of this is, is I'm hoping to be, be heavy on State Street. State, State Street's Street. pretty wiped out lately. I drove down it today and I was like, where the hell did all the big trees go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where, where, one of the areas that's been bare for a while is near the corner of Cove Park where it meets the, uh, you know the frontage or the or the employee parking lot for the DMV, and I'm I'm hoping for five trees there, two behind the sidewalk on the field side, to be in line with an existing row there of taller species, mostly maples are in there, and then out front we have a theme going of Kwanzaa and cherry, which is night, which is a pink tree. There's four in a row that went in probably four years ago, um, up closer to the intersection of, of State and Hartford. So I was hoping to continue the theme of Kwanzaa and Cherry out front in the right of way and a taller species behind the sidewalk to, to border the field, if you will. And that's, that's also just, just to mention, um, that's where I'm hoping to put together um, something small for Arbor Day on Friday the 23rd. And I'll email about that. Where is it going to be? At Cove Park on the State Street frontage. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. I don't think you listen to the beginning of the whole spiel. Okay. So any any comment or or um, a, you know ideas on the spring goal. If there's anything additional that people would come to you or you would like to plant, um, you know, I, 
I I could probably you know sneak something into this spring goal. There's there's probably not you know adding one or two is not a big deal, but otherwise we could arrange for possibly the fall. You know, if there's any new ideas that come up between now and then. Did you pick up the trees already? I haven't been to the nursery yet. They have, our, they have them in stock okay? Yeah, because our order volume is small, I typically don't, um, you know, unless it's something that's a specialty tree, I typically don't, you know, go and claim them ahead of time. You know, unless there's like one left or something like that. Are you still going to Mullane's or what? what's it called now? Pride's right. Corner? Yeah, that location that is uh, Pride's Corner now. Well, I think it looks good to me so far. I mean, okay. you got a good idea and what you're going to do and what you're going to plant. So you got to continue that uh, theme. And um, there's always changes that could occur, but. The, yeah. the important thing is to get going and get them in the ground. Now you're going to have the the thing April twenty third. What what time is it, what time is it going to be? Um, probably in the morning. Let me talk to Rob Gary about it. Oh. And I'll give you an email <coughs> exactly regarding that. Okay. Hi Brooke. Welcome. We were just talking about the spring planting goal, and. Um, you know, it's open to some revision, but if anybody comes to you with planting um, interests, you know, we can either try to include in this or, or try for the, the fall schedule. Um, I am expecting another call. That's what I thought why I was muted. Um, so hi, everybody. Um, I don't, right. I do know someone who's not necessarily interested in planting, but is concerned about the some properties or um, some of the trees over at the Cove. And I just gave them your email and said, they're very That's knowledgeable. Fine. They're actually, sure. they're good people, but they're not looking for a lot of action. I think they're just looking, they're just curious. Okay. And then, so I'm going to be muted. I'll listen to, but in case my phone rings or in case someone walks in, I just didn't want to be loud for all of you. Oh, that's fine. Thank you. Um, moving on from public comment to old business, uh, motion to approve the March minutes. The, um, just one thing about the minutes. Don't you have to include an attendance who, who came to the meeting? Or no, you don't have to do uh, that. Good point. I believe I forgot. That will be... Um, because the people always want to look that up in the public and who exactly came to the yeah. meeting and who voted yeah. on what. So yeah, can, my bad. Okay. I wasn't there, but I do believe I, I assessed and sent in some comments and, the, and my right. vote from a distance. Okay, so Brooke and Joe did an absentee vote. Um, help me remember who was there. Pretty sure we, we, we were there last month. Yeah, we were both there. And Mark, okay. I think. Mark was there, yep. Okay, so it was the four of us? Right, yeah. Okay. I don't know. Thank you for pointing that out. Um, was this one true? Bruce? This one tree, remember at 28 out? This one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. A motion to approve the amended um, March minutes, including. I'll make, the I'll make it a motion. A second. Thank you. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? All right, motion passes. Uh, moving from old business to new business, request to remove a decaying sugar maple at 421 Main Street. Is that the first time you saw that tree? Should have been taken down two years ago, right? Uh, you know what? It has it has decay at the base. Um, in my mind, it's still not an emergency. We have pruned that tree. You must have noticed some of the large cuts up in it. Um, it's time for it to go, but actually the, the motivating reason was because of a complaint about the sidewalk and it, it sort of uh, provided wound wood or it, 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 it's, it's kind of is growing 
over the sidewalk on the roof flare. So the, the, the ADA compliance is now a width issue. So the, in order to correct the sidewalk, the tree's roots would have to get cut in what I think is an unsustainable um, manner. Okay, see, I differ with you on that because the tree just looks bad. You get yeah. people walking on that sidewalk. You get people from other towns walking over there. The tree looks like it's going to fall, even though you say, or uh, an arborist could say, you got a lot of wood tissue on the other side and everything. It looks horrible. It's an embarrassment in the town <laughs> of the tree uh, care in town. The tree should go. Now you look at the other one to the left of it, it has a big crack in it also. That's the next one to look at, but that's not as noticeable to the general public. But this right. is like this is like your typical tree that the Joe homeowner looks at and says, wow, there's a woodchuck making a home in there and there's squirrels. That's not the point. The tree is decayed and it looks bad. You know, that's all my thing. Yeah, you're probably right. It could stay up and it's got a full set of beautiful leaves and everything else, but... <laughs> Joe Schmo walking down the sidewalk going for a walk to the cove saying, wow, this town really got some bad trees in it. But right. that's just my opinion. So I think it should be taken down sooner than later. Just so you know, we get people walking around in the springtime. Um, you know, we want to be the be the good looking town. Look at the look at the um replacement list you got. That that's what we should be doing. Get that tree out of here and put a nice new tree in. And, and that's what you're doing. You're making the town better in the future. So. Received. Thank you. I, uh, I appreciate your positive finish. Um, you know, I want to point out that I want to point out that um, we have been really hammering down on removals and, uh, you know, the, the one the one uh, south on the south side of 420, when you said has a crack in it. Yeah. Are, can you, can you, you know, I know we're not in front of the tree, but are you talking about the two main stems? You know, it's or where's a, this crack? It's a, the crack, it's a double, like it's a double tree. It's a twin stem, yeah. Okay. It's included bark and it yeah. just, it just, if you cut that tree open, you got a pro, you know, there's, there's blackness yeah. inside. You're going to see it if you dissect that tree. Yeah, no, right I, now, you know, right now nobody sees it, but that tree could split in half at any time, you know. So, so, so I do want to just address that when we were there to, I can't remember exactly when. I want to say it was there about a year ago that we worked on this area of Main Street. We took significant dead out of the one that's up for review, and we also um, pruned another couple of sugar maples and oaks in that in that area um the tree that you're speaking of having the the two stems and included bark though does have a support cable that i feel that i feel really good about up in that tree so we have we have secured we i think we have successfully uh, at least to my satisfaction corrected for that structural issue okay so, you know so, it, it, that's okay if you think so. I think it has has to be a tree that's uh, monitored, you know. I think so. I think so too. I think any cable yeah. tree has to be monitored. Any little tree you guys are talking about. I'm just yeah. wondering if you saw that. I... Oh, I didn't see the cable. No, I just I just looked at the tree because I don't think cables help too much. In my that's my opinion too, Corey. Okay. Okay. I just don't. I think cables are a waste. Uh, it makes a um, a false assumption of safety which I don't care for. Either prune the tree or take it down. Uh, when you're talking about town trees or a tree over a playground, school or anything like that, it's just not, I'm not gonna put my um, faith in a cable and killing somebody. So that's just my, there's my opinion again. My wife said never to give your opinion to anybody. Okay, so. Uh, we, we are certainly here to hear educated opinions and, and I appreciate your opinion. Thank you. I would point out that the cable um, provides about 5,000 pounds of additional support. And where I've seen issues with cables, uh, respectfully, is, um, is where they're installed too loose or used inappropriately and in a storm when the tree, the, 
the supported limbs come together and then meet the extremes of the cable, bringing the cable to tension. And then the, the sections above the cables bolts um, can snap off at the bolt. So just for, just for those who don't know, there, there's a cable and a, and a cable should be installed about two thirds to three quarters of the way from the, from the issue being supported up to the extreme top of the tree. So there's a cable that's probably two thirds to three quarters of the way up this tree that addresses in my view what, what Bruce is speaking of, which is, which is a, a less than perfect to say, to say something about it um, branch union low in the tree just south of the one that's up for review here in the first line of new business. Anything else on uh, this, this decaying sugar maple? Yeah, I make a motion to remove that tree. Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All opposed? <clears throat> All right, motion passes, thank you. Uh, request to, moving on request to remove a uh, and I tagged an ash just because it's in the vicinity of other trees we tagged. Um, there's a there's an affected ash request to remove EAB affected ash at 175 Garden Street, which is on the Dor Dorchester frontage of 175 Garden. Motion to remove the ash. I don't think the ash need that much discussion. No question. Yeah. Any discussion? All. Um, a mo is I'll there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Thank you, motion passes. Request to, moving on, request to remove two declining red maples <clears throat> at 181 Garden Street, which is just north of which is just on the north side of Dorchester. You must, I, I believe the tags are still there. Um, Joe said they were not, but they were there for many days. Um, I saw them this morning. I saw them, you this, saw them morning. this morning. Yeah, I saw them. He must he, be looking for a ribbon or something though. He, he might've been looking on, act, he might've not been looking on Dorchester because to be honest with you, I would've got confused if I didn't see the ash blatantly. And then once I took the left on Dorchester, I was like, oh, there's the maples. So, okay. Because there was maples on Garden Street. So maybe he was looking at those, the bigger ones. And you sure. said Dorchester side. It's in the it's in the agenda, I think, pretty clearly. But um, yeah, yeah, that that might that mistake might have been made, Alex. Yeah. It was see if I had to write an estimate to show my guys, I'd have to draw a picture too and then put it in the corner of Dorchester and Garden. You see? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you always have to assume, Corey, that people just won't get it. So right. but I, you know, we saw it, that, that it was marked. He just missed it. <coughs> Boy, that, just... that street is really taking a hit with old trees, huh, Corey? Yeah, it kind of, you know, I hate to make such a big splash in that neighborhood. And we certainly have in my tenure. Really? But, um, they should go. You've been there most of your career, that whole block. It's it's pretty routine that we're over there. <laughs> yeah. And there's still significant storm damage. There was there was serious Asais, um, hurricane Asais damage from August in that neighborhood too. What, Garden Street was closed for a whole week, I think. How come they had to name that storm that nobody knows how to pronounce it? They couldn't they just say it's Joe? Yeah, you know, I, I, Joe or something like that. I got it down. I got it down. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a, it's uh it's not uh, not. Well, That's kind I, of hard, Corey. I, I applaud you for doing that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, any discussion on these red maples? Scrambling. It was by the homeowner's request that we do these two trees, and that's why we're. I'm again. That's why I'm. My attention's brought to this area, and that's why it's on this list. They look like they're just loaded with decay all the way through every branch, if I were to take a strong guess. Something like that, yeah. 
they're they're pretty beat up. They're yeah. they don't make the street look too good anyway. They're, they're underneath the primary yeah. primary power. Mm -hmm. You know. All right. Um, is there a motion? Yeah, I'll make them up. Okay. Brooke has a motion. Is there a second? I'll second it. Thank you. Uh, all in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed. All right, motion passes. Thank you. Moving on to um, March work completed. Any discussion or comments, questions? Did a lot recently at the Wells House and Mikey's place, which I was really, I was really happy to finally get to. Seeing no, seeing no comments on March work completed. Uh, motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. I'll make Second. a motion. To adjourn. Uh, yeah, second. All right, all in favor, th say aye. Aye. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. See you guys. Thanks. Good night.